Hello and welcome to the Galblade News. Intel says the production of its next generation chips will be set back until 2022, following years of delays getting its current generation chips on sale. The company said it was exploring contingency, contingency plans, such as having third party manufacturers produce some of its products. In June, Apple said it would transition its Mac computers away from Intel processors and design its own chips. One expert said Intel risked leaving a gap for competitors to step into. Intel said it had identified a defect in its manufacturing process that led to the new delay. Uh, chip makers try to miniaturize their technology and processes so that they can pack more transistors onto a single silicon chip. Doing so typically creates faster processors, which are more energy efficient. This can give smartphones and laptops a longer battery life and reduce energy consumption by data centers. Intel's current generation chips are described as uh, 10 nanometer chips and its next generation will be 7 nanometer chips. These numbers are used to be a measure of the tiny spaces in between transistors on a chip, but today they are simply marketing terms. Today the metric commonly used by the experts to compare two different technologies is the transistor density, said Dr. Ian Cutrus, senior CPU editor of the technology news site Anand Tech, which reported Intel's announcement. Intel's most dense 10 nanometer designs are broadly equivalent to the most dense 7 nanometer designs by rival chip maker TSMC, he said. Um, a delay in producing next generation chips could give rivals a head start. There are two main parts to Intel's business. It designs computer chips and manufactures them. Most of its rivals only do one or the other. TSMC simply manufactures chips designed by other companies such as AMD and Apple. During most of the 2010s, one of Intel's key marketable industry leading features was that it was ahead of its competitors in manufacturing technology, said Dr. Cutrus. In recent years, Intel has been unable to develop new leading manufacturing technologies on its original timescales. While Intel's current generation 10 nanometer chips were delayed by more than two years, TSMC was shipping its equivalent 7N um, uh, chips in bulk to major customers such as Apple AMD, Huawei, and Qualcomm. While AMD already has a generation of current generation chips on sale, Intel has no answer for similar products uh, in desktop computing, and is only promising a small launch of its first generation 10 nanometer server processors by the end of the year, said uh, Dr. Cutrus. With all the delays Intel has on its 10 nanometer production, its new 7 nanometer chips were meant to resolve that issue and make the 10 nanometer more of a footnote in Intel's history. The delay to 10 nanometers implies Intel is having issues with development, he added. If Intel fails to execute properly, then it leaves a large hole for its main competitor to step into, as well as eroding 20 years of confidence in Intel's ability to deliver high performance and high efficiency computer products. So what do you think of this? Are you concerned that Intel is actually lagging behind or do you think actually it kind of gives the industry a bit of a shake up, it gives more room for competition and that can only be a good thing for the consumer's point of view. Things might become a little bit cheaper, uh, things might be put into production a bit faster and actually you might get better quality um, processing speeds um, for your data um, within shorter durations of time. Whatever you think, leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe.